Kindness is a language which the deaf can hear and the blind can see. Good friends, good books, and a sleepy conscience. This is the ideal life. Never allow someone to be your priority while allowing yourself to be their option. It is the little conveniences that make the real comfort of life. Be careful about reading health books. You may die of a misprint. An intelligent person never shares three things with anyone. Their innermost fears, past regrets, and ultimate excuse for showing up late. The more I learn about people, the more I like my dog. Do not complain about growing old. It is a privilege denied to many. Whenever you find yourself on the side of the majority, it is time to pause and reflect. Be careless in your dress if you must, but keep a tidy soul. Anger is an acid that can do more harm to the vessel in which it is stored than to anything on which it is poured. Never tell the truth to people who are not worthy of it. Always acknowledge fault frankly. This will throw those in authority off guard and give you an opportunity to make a choice. No real gentleman will tell the naked truth in the presence of the ladies. If you tell the truth, you don't have to remember anything. Pessimist, the optimist who didn't arrive. Noise proves nothing. Often a hen who has laid an egg cackles as if she had laid an asteroid. An honest man in politics shines more than he would elsewhere. Wrinkles should merely indicate where the smiles have been. Good breeding consists in concealing how much we think of ourselves and how little we think of the other person. The truth must be served like a coat and not thrown in the face like a wet towel. The man who is a pessimist before 48 knows too much. If he is an optimist after it, he knows too little. The man who does not read has no advantage over the man who cannot read. No civilization can be perfect until exact equality between men and women is included. A banker is a fellow who lends you his umbrella when the sun is shining, but wants it back the minute it begins to rain. The best way to cheer yourself up is to try to cheer somebody else up. Keep away from people who try to belittle your ambitions. Small people always do that. But the really great make you feel that you, too, can become great. By trying, we can easily learn to endure adversity. 
Man will do many things to get himself loved. He will do all things to get himself envied. Human pride is not worthwhile. There is always something lying in wait to take the wind out of it. Always obey your parents when they are present. This is the best policy in the long run, because if you don't, they will make you. After all these years, I see that I was mistaken about Eve in the beginning. It is better to live outside the garden with her than inside it without her. Only two things we'll regret on deathbed. That we are a little loved and little traveled. Never marry a woman who has had sex with her own ego, for it'll always take precedence over you. We lavish gifts upon children, but the most precious gift, our personal association, which means so much to them, we give grudgingly. Loyalty to country always. Loyalty to government when it deserves it. Eat a live frog first thing in the morning and nothing worse will happen to you the rest of the day. I have found out that there ain't no surer way to find out whether you like people or hate them than to travel with them. Clothes make the man. Naked people have little or no influence in society. A lie can travel halfway around the world while the truth is putting its shoes on. Never argue with a fool. Onlookers may not be able to tell the difference. Life is short. Break the rules. Forgive quickly. Kiss slowly. Love truly. Laugh uncontrollably. And never regret anything that makes you smile. Giving up smoking is the easiest thing in the world. I know, because I've done it thousands of times. In certain trying circumstances, urgent circumstances, desperate circumstances, profanity furnishes a relief denied even to prayer. When your friends begin to flatter you on how young you look, it's a sure sign you're getting old. There are several good protections against temptations, but the surest is cowardice. Do something every day that you don't want to do. This is the golden rule for acquiring the habit of doing your duty without pain. There are not enough morally brave men in stock. We are out of moral courage material. The only way to keep your health is to eat what you don't want, drink what you don't like, and do what you'd rather not. Unexpected money is a delight. The same sum is a bitterness when you expect more. <laughs>